Next thing I'm going to do is put the stepper motor in and then I can just use the hand wheel to move my saddle back and forth and get my alignment right. So for the stepper motor, this is how your mill is going to be when it's fully assembled. I would recommend since your y-axis is going to be right here, for y-axis have your cable coming out the right side. For your x-axis have your cable coming out towards you also so that you can have both of your cables coming in from one direction and then they're pretty much trailing the action on your machine. If I have it this way, then your cable has a, a habit of being pulled underneath and gets in the way over here. It also makes the wiring a lot easier. The counter bore is on the mo stepper motor mount is set up to locate on the flange right here, the boss right here on the stepper motor. First we have to find the access hole in the coupler and you just turn it by hand or use your 330 seconds and turn to 540. I have that lined up right there. I'm going to put my Allen wrench into the set screw. So that guy's right there. Now I'm going to put, turn my hand wheel. I want my cable down and I'm going to have my flat directly opposite the cable. And that's how I'm going to assemble this. That guy's in there. All right, right now I'm going to put my four 832 screws in. This guy's not tight yet. Just get them started so they all start easy and then we can snug them down. All right. What I'm going to want to do now is I want to sandwich this all together good and tight. Then I'm going to find my flat and I'm going to tighten this down. If I tighten this first and then I sandwich this all together, there's going to be force against the bearings inside my stepper motor. This way there will be no axial force inside my assembly inside here. So first I'm going to tighten down all four of the A32 screws, good and snug. Yeah, those guys are good and snug. Now I'm going to wiggle my hand wheel and you can see the, the flat that's on the shaft on the outside is identical location wise as the one on the inside. So if I have that flat facing straight up, I'm pretty good about getting it on the flat. Once you get it snug, you want to back it off a hair and wiggle the screw or wiggle the hand wheel rather. As you're wiggling, slowly tighten up your set screw. You're doing this so that your set screw is actually on the flat. It's not on the round surface, it's right on the flat. And as you wiggle it, it centers itself up on the flat and then you tighten it down good and tight. And again, I would use a little bit of a cheater here and tighten that down good and tight. That guy's not going anywhere.